Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to math. So the past couple days of math, we've been learning different ways to talk about more. First, we talked about what more is. That means you're making something bigger. You're adding more to it. It's the group that you want. So if there was a, a pile of candy that had some, and then there was another pile that had more, you'd want the pile that has more. So today, we're going to be talking again about more. We're going to be combining the other things we learned about uh, more. Like we make towers to see which has more. And we make partners to see which has more. So today we're going to start by drawing to see which one has more. So here we have the number two. And we're going to count and write to show two. We'll do two circles. One, two. All right, and then we're going to count and write to show this number. What number is that? One. Yeah. All right, so now we can look like the towers and see which one, which line of dots is longer. So I see that this line has more dots than this line. Wow, so this one has more. Or I could make partners to see which has more. So these ones can be partners. And then, oh, is there a partner for this one? No. And remember, the group that has some left over without partners is the one that's bigger. So two is more than one. Two is more than one. Two is more than one. Awesome. Let's do it again, but with some different numbers. So let's do four and six. So I'm going to count and write to show each number. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make a line underneath, and they have to line up or it's not going to work. So I have to line up the dots. One, two, three, four, oh, nothing to line it up with, five, six. If it's not lined up, you won't be able to look at the lines of dots to tell which one has more. They have to be lined up in order for that to work. So I look at this line of dots and I see that it's longer. It goes out past this line of dots. So six must be more. To double check, we'll do partners. Here's a partner. Here's a partner. Here's a partner. And here's a partner. And we have two dots left over. So we know that when there's a group of dots left over in one of the sets, that that set is bigger. So that means six is more than four. Six is more than four. Awesome. Let's try again. Now I have the numbers three and two. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't line up the dots. So let's say I just drew three dots. One, two, three. And over here, I did two dots. One, two, uh-oh. Can we really compare the line of dots right now? No, because they don't start at the same points. They're just all over the place. They're not in nice lines that we can use to compare. It looks like two has more because it goes all the way out here. But if we make partners, we see that three actually has more because it has one left over without a partner. So three is more than two. So you've got to make sure we line up the dots so our pictures can be more accurate and show us the correct information. Accurate means right. We want our pictures to look the right way. All right, so now I want you to get some practice doing all of this on Seesaw. Now, to make it a little bit easier, it's gonna look a little bit different over the seesaw activity. So make sure 
you watch my video on Seesaw about how to do the Seesaw activity before you dive into the work. All right, get to it, get to it.